Okay, do y'all see a big uh, recording screen? Or is that just on my end? It's just on me. That's fine. I just really want to be in your where you can't see anything else. All right, so number 11. Number 11, as I told you in the email, I just got lazy and didn't want to pursue the integration. Um, so for my characteristic equation, again, that became an imaginary root. And so your characteristic equation was just C1 cosine T and C2 sine T, which, which again, for the Ronskin was just a one. So in that respect, that was an easy piece. But the integration to get to V1, I didn't, I gave up on V1, so I didn't even look at V2. Um, but V1, you have, I have the integral of negative sine T tangent squared t and then all of that of course is over the one but you're integrating a negative sine times tangent and unless y'all see something that i don't and again i've confessed to you twice that i gave up um but i think if you'll make uh tangent squared b and there's a negative floating around so i made took that negative tangent squared and made it be um um no, I guess I didn't. It's still the negative, it's still there. Secant squared minus one anyway. And I think you can turn that into a UDU situation for the first two terms. And then when you distribute sine times one, you can certainly integrate that. Did anybody have a better way to do that? Or did you give up like your teacher? I think V2 is going to be easier because you'll be able to cancel out Maybe it'll be easier. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't try it. So, but I think the issue there is the integration, final integration, not the um, not the other material. All right. Comments about number eleven. Okay. So then I'd ask you to work three problems on page two hundred. And all three of those were really easy problems. Um, the, you were just finding uh, the homogeneous case on each one. You were finding the characteristic equation. So on, on number nine, the only trick with that is for that Euler equation was that form, right? So it, that middle piece, remember, it's B minus A. So be sure you're doing that. Be sure you're not just trying to factor um, the original like we've been doing. That's the only difference. But your characteristic equation, what I got was R squared plus R minus six. And I got two roots of negative three and positive two. So again, solutions of C1 T to the negative three and C2 T squared. All right, number 11, again, number nine should have been straightforward. Number 11 might have stumped you. Did anybody get a solution to 11 or find a, a way to attack that problem? I like it better in class when y'all have something to say. Everybody's quiet. So the issue on 11 to me was you've got T's in the denominator. But it is set equal to zero. So I took a liberty and just multiplied every term through by T squared, which put a T squared in the first term and then canceled on the other two terms. So it became just a regular, a, a nice equation. So that might have caused you a little bit of problem. And then on number... 13 was the other one I'd ask you to work. On 13, um, you got a repeating root. Both of the roots are a negative one-third, or that's what I got. So you have a T to the negative one-third for one term, and then you know we had to modify, didn't we, for that second term? So a natural log T times uh, T to the negative one-third are solutions there. And we talked about those imaginary roots, if that happens, they, they get much more complicated, but um, I'll assume 
you got to work this test and have your notes not too far away from you. I think that's a valid assumption. That's wrong. My work is wrong or my, your cheating is wrong. Both. <laughs> I think Vince is wrong. <laughs> no, it is what it is, you know, and we're tempering the coronavirus semester with grace and mercy for sure, or at least I am. So, um, anyway, that's any other thoughts about the homework before we talk about the test? All right, so again, the, the test is not bad at all, honestly. Four or five problems, I don't remember. Um, but the first one actually is three parts where you're writing that characteristic equation and it's going to be one of each of the cases. So be sure that you can do that. I'm reading the chat as we're talking. I'm purposely avoiding that, Tom. Yes, and always a sermon. Um, then you've got um, one problem with undetermined coefficients, and I've said that in the problem, that's what to use. Think about the kind of things that um, lend itself to those, things where we can predict those derivatives, e to a power, um, a polynomial within reason, um, uh, sine or cosine. Those are typical examples of... Um, using the method of undetermined coefficients. You've got one problem with variation of parameters and you can solve that using whatever you can do. Uh, you can solve the system of equations. You can use the Ronskin and the integration method. I don't care. You, you should get the same solution. And you've got the week to work on it. So, you know, if it were me taking that test, I might try it a couple of different ways to be sure I'm getting the same solution as a, as a check. And then you've got one problem that are the, um, uh, Euler equations, the uh, variable coefficient equation to solve. What questions do you have for me about the test? Are we still going to have like um, videos and stuff uploaded throughout the week? Um, not this week. This week that will be your assignment is to take the test. Um, so we want to cover one more topic, and assuming I can get to my document camera, we're going to talk about Laplace transformations, um, and we I may can find some things online, but this is the assignment for this week. So we're not going to meet for class? We won't uh, meet Wednesday. We won't meet Wednesday. But we will meet Friday? Um. We're not going to meet Friday. You're going to work on the test and submit it by Friday. I think your due date in Canvas is uh, Saturday, if I looked at it right. Uh, well, I'll go and fix that. So the test will is – I posted the test last night and just locked it to open and close. Um, and it is literally just a PDF document. But the other thing that I put in this morning, and I'll, I'll double-check that due date, Baylin, be sure that it's, it's – reflected correctly, um, but that is a, the place to submit the test. But again, if, if any of you don't know how to do that, then talk to me and let's figure out a solution. I just double checked that it. it is Friday. I'm sorry. That's okay. I've put in so many things the last two weeks. I'm happy. I'll, I've got other sets of eyes on things. What else? <laughs> That Chobani Joe or whatever my wife buys, the Greek yogurt with the fruit on the bottom. I'll expect a case when it's all said and done. Um, all right, guys. You got some work to do for this week. A little bit. Uh, I think I've posted two things in uh, calculus, but most of you have indicated that's going pretty well. But, you know, email me if you, um, um, if you have any issues with any of that. Um, Sermon on Sunday, absolutely. We're recording it on Thursdays, Vince, so you can check out YouTube and find the sermon and hear your teacher play the piano. I actually got on the screen this week. Last week, I just, you know, was in the background. Nobody even saw me, which is fine, but anyway, had a good video this time. Stay safe. Wash your hands. We'll talk by email later this week. And... um. 
Oh, I've just, did I just delete y'all? Maybe not. Oh, there you are. Uh, we'll talk by email and we'll plan to meet for sure next <laughs> Monday with some new stuff. Okay. All right. Have a good day.